Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Kathy, and for today's video, we will be talking about something a little bit different. Um, it's how I keep my house clean and free from the virus. Um, and a lot of people have been asking me because um, they know that I'm very, very annoying or kind of paranoid about it. So they wanted to know what I use at home. Um, don't worry, if it's available on Shopee, I will be linking it down below for you guys. Um, but for me, um, there are a few things that I do. I know that some of it may sound extreme. Some people have said that, whoa, that's just too much. But for me, you know, it's my family's safety. And if it can help someone else or some other family, then I hope that you will like this video. So let's go ahead and stay tuned. <laughs> Okay, everyone, so again, my name is Kathy, and on this channel, I do a lot of unboxing reviews, tips and tricks when it comes to diamond painting, how to be a better content creator, or just how to find your happy. And one of the things that make me happy is keeping my family safe and sound. If that is something that you are interested in, I hope that you can subscribe to my channel, give it a like, thumbs up sign, comment, or you know, just share it with someone who might be needing this kind of material. So for my home, there are a few things that I do that some people might not do or some people might think maybe a little bit extreme, but the first thing that I do is I always have alcohol available almost everywhere. So we have alcohol in the attic, we have alcohol the moment you go inside the house, we have alcohol in the kitchen, we have alcohol in the living room, we have alcohols in our um, own rooms because you just can't be, you know, too safe. And then I always make sure as well that there are hand soaps available in every sink just to make sure that, you know, when people touch things, they can wash their hands. Or if they can't, then they, there's an alcohol. And I also make sure that those who leave the house will have alcohols in their bags just to be on the safe side, you know. Right now, I think that you can't be, like, too paranoid or too safe because... We can't see the enemy, right? We don't know what's happening and we just have to protect ourselves the best that we can and especially our family, right? So that's number one is we have alcohols everywhere at home. Two is we have sterilizers. I have a sterilizer for my dishes, for my son's bottles, and those are normal things. But I also have a sterilizer for our face masks, for our face shields, and for our phones. I have a sterilizer um, for almost everything. And I also have a sterilizer for packages. I think the only sterilizer that we don't have um, would be for a person. And I think if I could actually afford to buy one, you know, the misting thing that hotels have, I would definitely go ahead and buy one. But for now, um, what we do is when there are visitors, when, you know, we can't really help but there are visitors, is this is a true story. I lie so them. <laughs> Not on their faces. Like, I would tell them, hey, I'm going to have to lie to you before you step foot in the house. I'm really sorry. I hope that's okay. And, you know, um, there's never been one who said no. So, what I do is I make them turn around, turn their backs, and then I lie to them. And then I ask them to kind of cover their face. And then I lie to them again before they can enter the house. And then when they enter, I get their stuff, their bags, their phones, and then I sterilize it. So, I have like a big box, a big black box. And I put their bags there and I sterilize it for like 15 minutes. And then I do the same thing with their phone. I have a unit and I sterilize their phones as well. It's just, you know, to protect them and to protect us as well. Okay? So, um, that's two. Number three is I also UV sterilize the entire house. Especially when we have visitors. Or I try to do this on a weekly basis. So, I bought this UV light. It's really strong. Um, and what I do is, especially earlier, we had things done at home. Uh, we sterilized the place as soon as the people left. But I also made sure that, you know, they didn't bring down their masks. Um, and there were alcohol at all times available. So what I do is I sterilize the home just so, you know, if there's any lingering like bacteria, virus, or anything, it will die. But I make sure that there's no cats, dogs, or humans whenever I sterilize. Uh, a, a certain area in her home, okay? So that's another one that I do. And then, I also make sure that I always have Lysol or some form of disinfectant present at all times. In fact, that I'm not like particular really about the brand. I'm more of like 
can it kill 99.9 percent .9 of the germs you know still missing the one percent 0.1 percent but i'm okay with the 99.9 percent .9 of germs being killed so i have different forms of disinfectant at home i have different forms of um, cleaning supplies disinfectant for the floor for the table for the furniture for dresses for clothes everything i have a wide array of you know disinfectant i'm not brand particular but i do have lysol because i believe that one has been proven to you know effectively guard us against the virus and then the last one is that i do is whenever we come home if you know i go out my husband went out or my brother is when we arrive we disinfect our things and we immediately go to the bathroom and we take a bath and we make sure that you know we scrub we use hot water if possible and we just scrub away we don't go near our kid we don't um say hi to people we don't touch them we don't touch things as much as possible and if we do we disinfect it immediately um and so far this has been you know working for us my husband is a frontliner um so we have to be extra careful um and this is just how it is so i hope that you know those tips and tricks that i have um can help someone out i'll link down below everything that um i've gotten through shopee that's been so so helpful especially the one for the mobile devices because as we all know our mobile devices is like one of the dirtiest things on earth and we're always touching it so i make sure that you know we disinfect it especially if we um came from outside just to be on the safe side um i know that sometimes we can be come too paranoid but i think right now paranoid is better than sorry um, and we just have to be really careful. P.S. Um, I also do a deep cleaning of our stuff at least once a year. And I hire professionals to do it. So earlier today, we had someone from Clean X, um, Clean South Manila. Um, and they've been doing our deep cleaning for our sofa, our dining tables, our beds for the last three years. So I've hired them three times already. And I'm always happy about their services. It's still not sponsored. <laughs> Hello, Clean X Manila. Clean South Manila. Um, hi. <laughs> I'd love to, to, you know, have discounts. Um, but there. So that's also what I do. And I also use an air purifier. Um, I have two. One is a gift from my uh, brother. And the other one was a gift from a brand. Which I'm very, very thankful for. And I use them. Especially these days. Because we have vogs. Apparently, it's a thing. Volcanic smog. Volcanic fog volcanic ash fog smog basta vog <laughs> ka vog kaka vogin niya tayo <laughs> um so there so you know um those are just things that i do to make sure that my family is safe i know that you know it's not 100 percent foolproof i pray every day every night and i'm so so grateful that we've been protected um until now and i hope that you know we all survive this um until this period of thing is done um i hope that it helps someone um i'm going to link down you know affordable things um we didn't buy anything crazy like expensive um i think that's why we have a lot of because it's like small things to just really help out because as much as i want to buy those you know fifty thousand unit thing that's just not um practical for me right now so um I get you guys don't worry there's nothing going to be like oh my god it's so expensive she's crazy nothing like that um it's going to be affordable especially the one for the mobile phones um it's like a 500 i think it's 500 and even the one that we use for face shields and face masks is at around 2000 um if you think about it 2000 is like a lot less than spending money in hospital so that's what that's what i do you know i think and as long as it's not extor exorbitant, Next. as long as it's not OA, <laughs> then I go for it because it's an investment in our health, our wealth, and most of all, our life. And I think that's how we need to think of things um, right now. And, you know, since we can't really go out, we don't have our coffee fix or our, like, take out or um, dine-in fix, we can just invest that in the safety of our family i hope that this video helps someone again my name is kathy and if you have questions please leave a comment i do my best to answer every single comment um out there because I, I appreciate that you know you guys are watching and you have questions and i would like to clarify things if i can and if not then i will you know 
redirect you to an expert. <laughs> okay? Thank you so much for watching, guys. I will see you on my next video. Bye!